Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 15 on the new General Curriculum Math subtest. Now I'm going to start by reading it over, and then I'm going to go through some of the core ideas involved in this problem. First, let's read it over. It says for number 15, which of the following problems can be solved by calculating the least common multiple of the given quantities? And then we have four different problems. Now you'll notice these are all questions. And we're not actually asked to answer any of these questions, merely to identify which of these problems or questions involves this concept or, or involves doing calculations involving least common multiple. So here's what I'm going to do today, team. I'm going to focus on ways of calculating least common multiple. I'm going to look at the problem that, that is the answer. I'm going to show you two different ways that you could solve that problem, two different ways of calculating least common multiple to get to an answer. There's no way for me to, to actually go through all the math that's involved in, in some of these other ones. So I'm not even going to try that. I'm just going to make sure that after watching this video, you have one or two really solid ways of calculating least common multiple. Okay? Let's first start in this discussion on least common multiple by clarifying what it is. What is the least common multiple? For example, let's say we had 2 and 3. And you're asked, what's the least common multiple of 2 and 3? Well, you're always going to start by listing the multiples of the two numbers. Or if it's three numbers, we could put in a third number. Let's put 6. So I'll start always by listing the multiples. So 2, it would be 2, 4, 6. And 3, it would be 3 and 6. And 6 could be 6, 12, 18. Now, we list the multiples, and then we look for the least common multiple. Least, it's right here. Think of least, think of the smallest. The smallest, or fewest, or lowest lowest common multiple they all share. In this case, with 2, 3, and 6, the lowest common multiple they all share is the 6. So we could say the lowest common multiple of 2, 3, and 6 is 6. Now we just did this by using a, uh, a list strategy. That's definitely one way to evaluate um, lowest common multiple. Another way of finding least common multiple is to use a Venn diagram strategy. And we're going we're gonna to look at that, too, in evaluating uh, the problem at hand. Okay, now let's go back to these four scenarios. Only one of them involves least common multiple concepts. So I'd like you to take a moment. I sincerely want you to do this. I want you to pause this video now. Pause it and read over A, B, C, and D. And see if you can identify the math concepts behind each one. Pause it now, really quickly. One, two, three, pause. Unpause. What math concepts are involved in A, B, C, and D? A involves greatest common factor math concepts. B involves combinations. C involves link probability. And you can actually see probability there. D is the one that involves the lowest common multiple. All right, so the answer here is D. We've correctly, we've identified the one that involves the least common multiple. Now team, I didn't solve these and I didn't even go into explaining what these are. We're going to save that for another video. But if you're going through and you're trying to work this out, use these as hints to help you work through the math in A, B, and C. Now let's focus our attention on D. And let's just use the rest of this video to get a deeper sense of how to do least common multiple, okay? All right, so here we go with D. It says, D, in a party supply shop, paper plates are sold in packages of 30, cups in packages of 24, and napkins in packages of 36. What is the smallest number of plates, cups, and napkins that can be bought so that there is an equal number of each? Let's organize that. Let's try the first strategy we're going to do is list out the multiples of 30, 24, and 36. The multiples of 30 are 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Uh, that's not that bad. 24, though, multiples of 24, 24, 48. What's the next one? 72. The next one, 96. Next one, 120. Mm, taking a little bit longer. Notice if we are only asked to find the smallest, that's code for 
least or fewest, the smallest number of just plates and cups. If that's all it asked us, the lowest common multiple for plates and cups would be 120. But it doesn't. It asks us to, to go all the way out with the three numbers. We'd have to list out the multiples of 36, 72, 108. And notice this would take a very long time. We'd have to go all the way out with the list strategy, all the way out to 360. So when calculating least common multiple, if it's just two numbers, do the list strategy. But if you're doing least common multiple calculations, like in the 1 and D, the list strategy is not going to work. So let's do the Venn diagram strategy. When calculating the least common multiple of three numbers, like 30, 24, and 36, we create a Venn diagram that looks like this. And we're going to take each one of these numbers or quantities here, and we're going to identify their prime factors that multiply to get to them. So 30 is made up of 2 times 3 times 5. And 24 is made up of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And 36 is made up of 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. The second step is to identify what prime factors are shared between all three numbers. Now, they all happen to have a 2 and a 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross out the 2 and 3 from our, our list of prime factors, and we're going to put it in here so we don't we don't confuse anything. The 30 has an extra 5. So these are the prime factors that multiply to get to 30. The 24 has a 2 that, that is shared with the 36. So I put that in the middle. And then the 24 has an extra 2, and the 36 is an extra 3. OK? Now the last step in using Venn diagrams to calculate the least common multiple of a set of numbers is to take the numbers in the Venn diagram and multiply them all out together. So I'm going to take all these values here, a 2 times a 2 times a 2 times a 3 times a 3 times a 5. I'm going to multiply them out. And whatever the product is of what's left over in the Venn diagram here, when you multiply out all these values, is going to be the lowest common multiple of 30, 24, and 36. So let's see. 2 times 5. What's 2 times 5? 10. Cross those out. 2 times 2? 4. 3 times 3? 9. What's 4 times 9? 36. So now we can rethink this as 10 times 36, which is the product of 10 times 36 is 360. So the lowest common multiple using the Venn diagram would also get us to 360. So look, team, we just did another way of calculating the lowest or least common multiple of a set of quantities or numbers. You can do it the Venn diagram way or the list way and they match up to scenarios similar to D. And you'll see this a lot on the test. If you could just study this video and make sure you can solve least common multiple in these two ways, the Venn diagram and the list way, and you understand how D uh, matches up to least common multiple, I think that's going to be really helpful. All right? You can save greatest common factor combinations and link probability for other videos. For now, just get least common multiple and different ways of calculating least common multiple uh, calculate di different ways of calculating least common multiple under your belt. Okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye. Hi, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL, and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.